This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the Precision Editor. One of the hard things that, that editors need to wrap their heads around is the whole concept of handles, extra video before the in and after the out. The Precision Editor, which is what this is, is the most outstanding example of how handles work of any, any software I've ever worked with. It is amazing. And you get into it by simply double-clicking the edit point. That which is bright is in the edit. The viewer can see it. That which is dim is extra video after the out and before the end of the media clip. Here, this is extra video after the start of the media clip and before the in. If I grab the out of this clip, I'm doing a ripple trim because its effects ripple through the duration of the rest of the project. I'm making the clip longer or shorter. Trimming can make clips longer or shorter, and I'm trimming the out, the last frame, of the outgoing clip. Here, I'm trimming the in of the incoming clip. And if I'm at the very beginning of the clip, notice this little red bar here. If I'm at the very beginning of the clip, I can't go any earlier. That's the most I've got. That's why we generally set ins a little bit later. So here I'm doing a ripple trim to the in, I'm doing a ripple trim to the out, and if I want to trim both to change the timing of the edit, I grab the center and I'm doing what's called a roll trim. A ripple trim always changes the duration of your clips and the project. A roll trim changes the duration of both the in and the out, but in opposite directions, one's getting longer, one's getting shorter, which means it never changes the duration of the project. When I'm done, press the Enter key, and the edit closes back up. To get into the position editor, double-click it. To get out, either double-click it or press the Return key. The precision editor is the finest teaching tool I've ever seen. It is perfect at describing handles and what a ripple trim and a roll trim does. But I never use it for real editing. And the reason is, it doesn't deal with audio and video separately. So the Precision Editor is a teaching tool, but I don't find it to be an editing tool. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 286. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.